Greetings YouTubers. Happy Friday. I hope you're going to have some good flying this weekend. Uh, us here in North Central Florida this weekend is supposed to be fantastic for flying. I'm here today to do a video on setting fail safes with your FR Sky using OpenTX. Um, had a viewer ask me yesterday if I would do a video concerning setting up fail safes, so that's what I intend to do here right now. Fail safes are important, um, especially at our flying field, as you all already know that. I've explained to you from time to time we do have some radio interference out there. When we have radio interference, you know, we would like our planes to do a specific thing if it happens to lose radio signal. Uh, at our field, we've mandated it out there to set all fail safes to all aircraft in case there's an interference or a, a signal loss to throttle off. And we do that on purpose because we don't want the airplane to fly away. Uh, we want it to kind of just do throttle off. Uh, there's various other things you can do like set control surfaces to specific angles, like bank slightly left so the plane may fly for a little while with throttle off uh, in a small circle or a kind of a wide circle while you're trying to regain consciousness of your radio to regain control of your aircraft. But fail safes are important. Um, many instances when you lose radio signal with your airplane, um, the plane can go to full throttle if it loses signal if the fail safes aren't set correctly and that thing can fly away and be gone. So that's the last thing you want it to do. You want to try to protect uh, your person and you want to try to protect property. So it's best to set those fail safes to off you know, when it comes to throttle when you're flying these airplanes. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's fairly simple. Uh, back in the day, FR Sky had the old D-series receivers. Some of you probably remember that. Uh, setting fail safes on those was relatively simple as well. You just, uh, what you would do is you would set your airplane up. You'd plug your receiver in, get your airplane completely set up, set up all your control surfaces correctly and all that. And then you would uh, pull your throttle all the way down so the motor's not on or whatever. And then the bind button that is inside the receiver, this is not a D receiver, but I'm just using it as an example. You would then, when the plane was powered up and you've got all your control surfaces wherever you wanted them and your throttle down, you would just push that button in real quick. Lights would flash on the receiver and then your fail safe was set to whatever it was, you know, that you had it set to before you pushed that button. But in the new X series receivers, which includes the S series, because the S series is still an X series receiver, um, you set the fail safes up using the radio. Uh, this is, like I said, strictly for OpenTX, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to set fail safe up on a specific model that I have here. We're going to show you how to set fail safe up for the throttle, so when we lose radio signal, that throttle goes to off. But I'm going to demonstrate first what it does when you don't set the fail safe. I don't recommend doing it with the prop on. Always go ahead and set your fail safe, set your plane up completely with the prop off uh, to keep from getting injured. But in this specific case, I'm gonna do it with the prop on because I don't have any tools right now. They all happen to be sitting out in my trailer outside. So I'm just gonna to try to be a little careful and I'm gonna demonstrate for you no fail safe and then I'm gonna show you how to set up fail safe and demonstrate what happens when it activates. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn the radio on. Now this will work with any FR Sky Radio or any Turnigy 9XR, 9XR Pro, anything you've got OpenTX installed in. So, and you can see here it says fail safe warning. So I hit any button to get through that because what that means is the fail safe is not set for the specific model that I have selected. So I have the model selected. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate what the airplane does when we lose signal between radio and receiver and we happen to be you know flying around say with with some throttle so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make sure my throttles down power up the airplane and what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and I'll fire up the prop on the airplane and you'll be able to hear it in the background I'm not going to show it to you because I'm going to be holding the aircraft with my other hand but you can see here I turn the throttle on and you can hear the throttle in the background. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and turn the radio off, simulating a signal loss between radio and receiver. Do you hear that throttle? That plane's flying away. I've got no radio signal between the radio and the receiver. 
and my plane's leaving. So I'm running across some sort of a field somewhere getting filled up with sand spurs trying to get close to my airplane and hopefully I can catch up to it to regain my signal. So once it regains signal, you'll see what happens. Now the throttle has automatically shut off. So we don't want that to happen. What we want it to do is if it loses signal, we want that throttle to shut off automatically. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this aircraft model settings and we're going to set a custom failsafe for that throttle. Now what you do need to know, and I'll show you here, to go to that page to set that custom setting, you're going to go into your model settings. On the first page, I just kind of scroll up to hurry up and get to it, but you'll see where it says failsafe mode, not set. We're going to Hi, we're going to hit enter to get it blinking because remember you only make changes when it's blinking. You can either select hold which means that if it loses radio signal it is going to hold whatever position your throttle, your ailerons or whatever your control surfaces were at the time that it lost signal. I don't recommend doing that because if you happen to be a 3D pilot and you're up there twisting and jerking this thing around and all of a sudden it drops out signal and you've got all your control surfaces that are all bent and contortioned, uh, you know, at 90 degree angles and such, that plane's going to stay like that until it regains, you know, control of itself. But what I do is I go to custom, go ahead and hit enter to stop the blinking, move over to set. Now what we're looking at up here is we're looking at our channels. So you're going to want to pick the channel that you want to fail safe, that you want to set your fail safe on. And, and for me, and how we'll do that is we'll go over here to, first thing I want to do, I guess let me pull this battery off this airplane before this thing flies across the living room and gets me in trouble again. Telemetry I have had that happen a couple times. But anyway, I'm going to move my throttle stick here. And I'm going to watch what channel here is actually moving for my throttle. Oh, see the first one, which is channel one. That is my throttle channel. So that's the one I want to set my fail safe on. What I want it to do is I want it to set to zero if I lose radio signal. So we can see with the bar all the way up, with the uh, stick all the way up, the bar is all the way to the right. With the stick all the way down, the bar is all the way to the left. So what I want it to do is simulate that bar all the way to the left if anything happens. So on channel one, you can see it's already got the blue there. I'm going to hit enter. Again, it's blinking, so now I can make changes. So I'm going to go all the way to negative, and you can see the red bar at the bottom. That's simulating my failsafe setting for that channel. So I'm going to go all the way to negative 100 on this specific channel. I'm going to hit the enter button. Now my failsafe has been set. to negative 100. So when that loses signal between the radio and the receiver, that receiver is auto all automatically going to be programmed to go to negative 100 on that throttle channel. Let's demonstrate. So we'll back out of the screen since we've set that. Back completely out. Go back to our main screen. I'll go ahead and reconnect the battery and I'll demonstrate what happens one that loses radio signal now that we've set that to fail safe. Let me show you here. Put my battery in. RF signal critical. Telemetry recovered. All right. So we're going to turn the throttle on. And you can hear that in the background. I'm going to go ahead and shut the radio off simulating signal loss and listen to the airplane. Automatically, that airplane defaults to zero throttle, and the flaps automatically go down. That is something that once you set custom, any kind of custom failsafe in an aircraft through OpenTX, it'll automatically set those flaps down just a hair, which is pretty cool, I think, because that provides more lift to the aircraft and at least tries to keep it up in the air as long as possible while you try to get, regain signal. Um, that's pretty much how set and fail safes works in OpenTX. And when I go ahead and turn the radio back on, 
Watch how fast this thing boots guys. back up. Watch the flaps. Boom. That's why I like using FR Sky guys. Because in the event that you have a signal loss, when it regains it, it's instantaneous. It's not waiting three or four seconds like Spectrum and others does. You've got your plane back instantaneously. Fail safes are important, not for just flying and keeping your airplane from leaving the continent, but also when you're working on them on the bench, if you happen to be preparing to fly at the field and something happens on the bench and you lose radio signal, the last thing you want to do when you've got your arms wrapped around that airplane putting a screw in or something is that thing to go to full throttle because it's lost signal and start cutting you to pieces. So I would recommend going ahead and setting your fail safes on all your aircraft. Again, make sure you test your aircraft first on the bench that all control surfaces are moving in the proper directions before you set your fail safes. Then go ahead and set your fail safes on any control surfaces that you'd like. I always recommend doing throttle first and always doing throttle because that's probably about the most important fail safe that you're ever going to set. Uh, hopefully you guys have learned what you needed to know concerning setting some fail safes. Uh, set them up, give them a try this weekend. Let me know, post down below how they do. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Stay tuned. Maybe later on this weekend, if my internet's up and running, I'm going to be posting some videos about how to do some mixing. Like, you know, when you set up flaps on an airplane, it's pretty important that you set up some mixing on your elevator as well to compensate for those flaps as you're flying because, you know, flaps, when you set flaps and you haven't got your elevator set properly, that plane's going to want to shoot up in the air. It's going to want to lift. So... Now, I'll show you how to do some mixing to kind of compensate for that. It's pretty cool little things we're going to learn on the next videos. But again, that's all pending whether or not my internet's going to be up and working. But I hope you guys have some happy flying this weekend, and uh, stay tuned. We'll be back hopefully soon with another video. Have a great day.